Hi guys! When I first started making videos, I was always curious about how to change my background using a green screen or blue screen. And I was pretty excited to learn that I could do this using the Chroma Keyer plugin in Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10. But not only can I do the backgrounds, I can make any color in my video go transparent. So for this video, I thought it might be fun to show you how to use the chroma key function. I used it to manipulate the background for this animation. I'm going to use the animation as an example of how to use the chroma keyer. I gave the background a bright green color. Since nothing else in the animation contains this color, it will work well for this particular project. Let's replace the background by first making it transparent. I've got the video clip in the timeline. I'm going to right click on the vid, then choose Media FX. If I were just changing this clip alone, I would choose Video Event FX. Okay, we're using Media FX to change all instances. Now look for the Sony Chroma Keyer in the plugins list. Double click that. It will appear in the plugin chain, then click OK. This pop up gives me controls to the functions of the chroma keyer. Now, there are some options in the drop down for typical blue screen or green screen background colors. I could use the green screen option since my background color is close, but I'm going to use the dropper tool to show you how to select the exact color I want to get rid of. I'll take the dropper to the preview screen so I can click on the color I want to make transparent. See it disappear? It looks like it turns black, but now it's transparent. By using the dropper tool, you can make any color transparent. Okay, let's go back and make the green background transparent and give it a new one. I will add video tracks to the timeline as necessary so that I can create layers like this. I'll go with this picture. It could be anything really, a video, a still, anything. The trick is to place the new image underneath the main video so that it shows through. I can apply the chroma keyer to other layers if I like. Oh, by the way, if you use the dropper tool to click on a random color in your media, you may need to tweak the chroma keyer so that it doesn't make too much or too little of your image transparent. You do this by moving the low threshold or high threshold slider back and forth until you get it looking like you want. Also, the blur amount slider helps to smooth out any rough edges. Okay, I hope this gives you some idea how to use the chroma key function in Vegas Movie Studio. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And thank you so much for all of your comments on the previous videos that I've done. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Until next time, bye!